Welcome into the recap of the Texas Rangers 11-2 pounding of the Cubs at Globe Life Field down in Texas on Saturday night. I'm David Kaplan. It's brought to you by Wintrust, home of Cubs checking. Get one of these really sweet Cubs debit cards. You're not just swiping, you're making a statement. Click on the QR code or go to Wintrust.com slash Cubs member FDIC. Uh, for this game, I think I better put a batting helmet on because the Cubs got pounded. Pounded! Kyle Hendricks got the start tonight, and he was awful. He just, he wriggled off the hook in the first inning, and it was about all he was able to do. He pitched into the fourth. Hendricks tonight, three and two-thirds of nine hit, five run, all earned baseball, two Ks, two walks, two home runs allowed, and he just did not look good. He, he just, you see a lineup like Texas runs out there, they're defending world champs, and you see the stuff that he brings to the table. Great dude. He's had a wonderful career. I'm more than a little concerned what the Cubs can get out of him this year. They also announced before the game, Justin Steele's gone about a month, they said. They, they hope, hope he can be back at the end of April. No shot. It's cold in April in Chicago. Let's just be honest here. That is not going to go well. It's not like he's on the mound in four or five days keeping his arm strength up. He's going to have to go do rehab starts. I mean, what are we doing here? So Ben Brown got called up, get his feet wet tonight, and it did not go well. Ben Brown, uh, in the ball game tonight, uh, came in, went one and two-thirds, five hits, six runs, all earned, a strikeout, two walks, and a home run allowed. He's got an ERA now over 32. Not the type of debut that the Cubs were hoping to get out of one of their top 10 prospects. But offensively, I'll give the Chicago Land Chevy dealers gold star player of the game to Dansby Swanson. He had a two-run home run to give the Cubs a 2-0 lead. And then it was 11 unanswered and get your head kicked in. Not a good night for the Cubs tonight. They go back to work on Sunday, series finale, try and take one out of the three. Jordan Wicks on the hill. And then it's the home opener weather permitting on Monday when Shota Imanaga will make his Cubs debut. Javier Assad will pitch game two on Tuesday against the Rockies. It's two games. Don't panic. Relax. But you better figure your pitching staff out quick. Without Steele, and if Hendricks is this guy, you got real trouble on the horizon. Have a great rest of your Saturday night. I'm going to go pour a drink. Watch college basketball and hope they can find a way to win a ball game tomorrow. Wake up, grab a cup of coffee, and find a way to win a baseball game. Take that.